Hello guys, welcome back to the Mathematics e lesson. In today's Mathematics lesson, we will be looking at the quadratic equations for paper 2. So we'll be looking at solving quadratic equations for paper 2. So whenever you are solving quadratic equations for paper 2, the question will come like this. Solve the equation x squared plus 2x is equal to 7, giving your answers correct to two decimal places. And this question is usually or always 5 marks. Okay, it is 5 marks. Now, this is a free, uh, or these 5 marks are free marks. Okay, so whenever they're saying giving your answers correct to two decimal places what you should know is that you are solving the quadratic equation now since you are solving a quadratic equation uh, remember yesterday we looked at solving the quadratic equation using the factorization method now in this case when they say giving your answers correct to two decimal places it means you are not going to use the factorization method factorization method is not going to work so here you are going to use what we call the quadratic formula which is like this so let's write, uh, write the quadratic formula which says x is equal to um, negative b plus or positive square root so it would be like square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a so this is the quadratic formula and the beauty about this is that this quadratic formula in our time we used to drive it and it never used to come in an exam but today it comes as a formula already inserted on the first page of the of the paper okay or rather the first page which is the cover then the second page which is the first page inside as you open you find the formula is inserted there all right so which means this is the free and this comes from a standard quadratic equation which is given like a x squared uh, plus uh, b x okay then plus c is equal to zero so when you do the completion of squares of this standard uh, standard quadratic e uh, equation here, then you arrive at this uh, quadratic formula. Now, whenever you are solving a quadratic formula like this one, you are given this as a quadratic formula. They need you to solve. Okay, you need to put this one into standard. So how you say x to the power two plus 2x is equal to 7 so you get you you move this 7 so that it goes to the left side of the equal sign so it becomes like x squared plus 2x then minus 7 becomes minus then equals where there was 7 since you have removed it you remain with nothing okay so now this one becomes the standard quadratic equation now how do you solve you need to substitute in this formula the value for b okay you need to substitute the value for b in this formula you need to substitute the value for a you need to substitute the value for c in this quadratic formula here so now where do you get all these values to substitute here you get your standard equation you put it alongside your new equation now you say a x squared then plus b x plus c equals zero so when you put uh, uh, these two equations alongside each other you start noticing that they are similar in some way in your standard equation your coefficient here in your standard equation a corresponds to a coefficient here e with x squared the coefficient is one okay then this b corresponds to one here okay let me just uh, move this one a little bit down so that i can be putting the arrows properly so this one i said it is going to be a x squared plus b x plus 
c equals zero so i said this coefficient here of this standard formula corresponds to a coefficient of x so in this case x there's a one here this b corresponds to two then this c corresponds to uh, uh negative seven so meaning a here is supposed to uh, occupy one which is a coefficient of x squared so a here you have one then b here you have two okay then c here you have negative seven okay so having done that identified those now you place them into the quadratic formula so you say equals you say where well, you say negative where this b you get that to there okay you place it okay two then you say plus or negative then you put square root like that then again where there's b here you put two so it will be two squared minus four okay where there's a you put one so you say times one but i like putting brackets so it's better we put brackets so you say open brackets times one okay close brackets then c is negative seven so you say times negative seven like that okay then you say everything over okay two okay a there is one times one like that okay so once you have substituted correctly like that then all you need to do is to begin now manipulating your 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 non can you begin now processing step by step so now step by step we need now to start so here you now start simplifying or evaluating okay so you have equals um you put negative to as it is then plus or negative then what is inside the brackets two squared it will be four okay then you say negative four times one it is negative four okay the negative four uh times seven it will give us 28 so it will actually negative four times negative seven it will give us positive 28 so positive 28 like that okay so you put your square root like that then you say everything over two times one it will be two okay so these steps must be followed properly as i am doing it then you say okay equals then again you say negative 2 plus or negative then you add now 4 plus 28 it will give you 32 okay you have 32 then you put your square root then you say over 2 like that okay then you continue you say equals x equals okay then you are going to find the square root so you put negative 2 plus or negative then you find the square root of 32 okay so let's just find the square root of 32 here mm, let me get my calculator square root of 32 so we'll write 32 uh, square root which is that value there which is like um 5.6568 so usually uh you cut it to somewhere um since your question asked you to find uh the answer to two decimal places you when writing this it is ambiguous to write the whole of this okay it is ambiguous to write the whole of this so what you do just uh, write three decimal numbers after the point so you end up to v6 so v6 you get a one from eight you add it to it okay so that it goes to seven why because here you are rounding it off let me even expand it a bit so you have 5.656 i am saying we needed to end at this six here so now what we are going to do here ourselves is to ensure that when rounding off before you 
cut this as six you check for the uh, at the next number if it is greater than four then you get the one you add to it so this eight is greater than four so add the one we add it to six it will be seven so we we'll write as a five point six five seven okay six five seven so it will be equal to five point six five seven then you say over two okay so having done like that um now let me shift here so here we are coming up to there so it has got the steps and this is why they give it five marks so when you reach here now you are going to say x is equal to you pick negative two this time pick this positive there you say plus uh, five point six five seven over two or you say or oh, x is equal to you say uh, negative two uh, then you put minus this time around that minus you left minus then five point six five seven over two okay so here what we are going to do here we are going to say um, negative two plus five point six five two divided by two so so that's what we are going to pick this division by two so first of all um, five point six five two seven i mean so we'll say um uh, we'll say uh, negative two plus five point six five seven equals then divided by two okay then we'll get one point eight two eight five so one point eight two eight five okay so we have x is equal to one point eight two five eight okay let me see if I'm not mistaken okay yeah one point eight two five two eight five two eight five two then eight five or we'll say x is equal to so here we'll pick negative uh two minus five point six five seven so say um negative two say negative two negative two minus five point five four point six five seven so say equals then that divided by two so we we'll get that one which is negative three point eight two five two eight five so negative three so come back mm, we'll say negative three point eight two eight five now remember our answer should be up to two, two decimal places so we will count uh the, the the numbers after the point should be two so we have eight and two here so when we reach two that's where our answer should end like 1.8 where there's two there we'll check for the next number at the next number we have eight eight is bigger than four so we can grab a one and add it to two it becomes a three so we'll write like that so here or oh, x is going to be negative three point the same eight three here so this one will be our answer five marks